I don't want to call it a failure. <laughs> it probably is a bit of a failure, but it's a warm up. Alrighty, good morning, everyone. Um, had a much, much needed well, well slept night, and uh, I feel a ton better, so much better. I sound horrible still. I'm sniffling a little bit, but um, the shakes have gone. Um, I'm only a little bit achy, so good news, good news, because. We needed to wake up feeling a little better because we've got a few spots to climb. I'm in 24th position and I don't know how far up the leaderboard I can go, but I, I want to try to go as high as I can. And that is the only goal today. Um, yeah, I mean, it. There's always a little bit of disappointment when you come to a tournament, you're bowling well, and then something kind of out of your control messes with you a little bit, and it forces you to, oh yeah, just not, not feel like yourself, but that's life. <laughs> so suck it up, Jace. be a big boy. And that's the plan. Got my coffee in hand. I'm looking forward to getting in there, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. However it goes, I, I actually do want to put the shoes on and bowl. And that's a good thing. That's a good feeling to have. I haven't had that for the last 24 hours, so... I'm going to make sure that my content today has a few more strikes for you to watch. All right, let's go. Oh, by the way, it's 5 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 17 degrees Celsius. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I think the person who suggested we come to Wichita in January um, yeah, might need to have a good, long, hard think about that decision. Don't get me wrong, Wichita's nice. Just not right now. <laughs> you can't do anything. All right, I'm going in.
Okay, decent. Uh, the right lane just kind of started hooking out of nowhere on me, but made a little change there in the tenth to kind of go over the top of it. Two thirty nine. I'll take it. Um, back you bowled a good game. It's hard to beat two fifty, and you probably should have bowled. You probably should have had the front ten. So two thirty nine lose against the player that shot three hundred. No problem. Would have been a little higher if it didn't uh, like double bounce in the nine. But um, yeah, I feel like I got my hand in a really good spot. I feel, I feel good. So this pair tends to be hooking just a little more. Make a move. Keep getting my hand in the right spot. Hopefully we don't get any more double bounces. Go a few strikes.
Changed ball to the IQ, struck out, moved to the next pair, that ball doesn't hook anymore. So I feel like uh, the last two pairs have been wildly different and that makes it tough to bowl a lot of strikes because like I said, if you find it early, you can put a big game up. If you don't have it early, you've got to fight to 10. So I think I'm going to go back to the... Uh, IQ 78, let's throw it a little firmer, kind of do what I was doing game two and see if this pair is similar to that pair. Didn't finish off that game very well, but um, had to move back to the IQ 78U. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Now, I feel like, I feel like I can move in a little bit. I'm gonna change board to maybe the phase two or the journey. I'm not sure which one yet. I'll try the phase two because I want it to ring just a little sooner. And then if it rolls too soon, I'll go to the journey. Phase two, you could actually see the ball as it started to make its, its way back. 
and hits this puddle of oil down the lane and then just goes forward. So that tells me, go back to the urethane. I mean, I think like 22 guys are using urethane. Probably should have just stuck with it. But I swung for the fences and missed them. We saved that game, got to 220. Couldn't get the win, but um, yeah, could have been a lot worse. So, two more games to go. Uh, the goal has changed not to come 24th. Don't want to come last. I'm very close to it still, so, got to find a big one. So one of the things you might have noticed, especially that last game, but periodically throughout the day you might have seen it, creating a lot of loft with the urethane ball on the front. The reason why is because I'm seeing the ball hook as soon as it hits the lane and it, it takes that urethane ball offline really early. So instead of trying to create more shape and find more oil, I've created loft just to, to clear that front part of the lane. The problem is that it's, when you're not 100%, it's hard to repeat, but it's also, as the day goes on and you're doing it a lot, the loft can vary, and so your ball shape can vary. Whenever you see me probably like flat 10 on what looked like a pretty good shot, rewind it and see where the 
ball landed, and I bet you it landed earlier. So it kind of got into its roll and hooked just that fraction earlier to, to lay the gun lay. We snuck away with a little victory there, 246 to 245. That was a bottom of the table fight too. So getting those extra 30 pins on Chris. Uh, I was teasing him about it afterwards. So we've got one more game to go. Try and keep giving it everything I got. Try and get as many pins as we can. Um, and then yeah, kind of... Uh, Chalk this tournament down to a warm up. What else? Can, what else can you call it? I don't want to call it a failure. <laughs> it probably is a bit of a failure, but it's a warm up. Right, it's a warm up. Ladies and gentlemen, one game remain. We're going to turn our top five for our Fox broadcast. Let's give them a nice enough for this final. This round match. Gentlemen, good luck in my score.
last pair wasn't very nice. Pocket 7, 10, 7 pins, 9 pins, 10 pins. And uh, with DJ Archer bowling 300 next to me, Chris Prather bowling 240, and TJ beating me, I dropped to last. Kind of appropriate in the end after how I felt this week, but um, it's over. I don't know what the record is, the world record, for the longest, hottest shower, but I think I'm going to break it today. I may not get out of the shower for 24 hours. Let's go sleep in there. Thanks for watching. Sorry it wasn't the best week to watch, but uh, you'll see me again at the US Open in Indianapolis, where hopefully I'm ready to go. Appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe. Are we supposed to still say that? I mean, should we all not know by now if you like what you see, just subscribe. But anyway, like and subscribe. Peace. G'day, thanks for watching. If you loved this one, check out the rest of the videos from this playlist or any other playlist. Make sure that you like the video and please subscribe if you would love to be the first to catch any of the latest of the behind the scenes and a whole lot of other cool stuff.